What is going on you guys, this is Taiki Chi coming at you with a brand new how to video on how to stream using OBS Studios. Now this is episode number 5, so if you haven't seen episode number 1 through 4, it'll be down in the description below. Like I said in every other video, everything is down in the description below and you could click on the card which is somewhere above my head basically to my left or to my right i keep on forgetting which one it is but today what we're going to be talking about is banners intermission music and basically audio spectrum a little bit now one thing that i want to tell you guys is that i wanted to make at least five episodes now i'm thinking of adding two more but it's not going to be how to stream using obs studios it's going to be streaming in general i don't want to tell you guys what it is but it's most likely going to be after this episode and let's just get right into this video so stay tuned for this one it's going to be helpful for everybody depending on well the seventh episode is going to be depending on certain people that have a specific thing but the sixth one is going to be perfect for everybody that wants to stream so let's go over to the computer once again and today we're going to be talking about intermission now intermission is very important because you're streaming for multiple hours and you want to have a little bit of a break so instead of people just waiting and staring at this screen right here and wait until you come back you can have an intermission and then have background music playing so what you want to do is if you guys are done with this which you should be because of if you guys watch my episode one through four then you should be up to where i am over here now episode five we're going to be opening another scene so you want to go to the bottom left you want to click the plus and then we're going to type in intermission and then you can see right here we got a new scene you could just transition back and forth to this one and then we got no sources whatsoever so you want to pick your banner now I'm gonna show you guys my banner very quickly this is my banner you go to images and then you want to type in banner or whatever it is you want to browse and then you want to go to wherever you have your banner now that's not the banner that was an old banner but we're gonna to go to the newer one and we're gonna click on this one open okay so this one is very simple. I'm just taking a little break. Be right back. And then there's my social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And then I got Black Ops 3 in the background. Now, a lot of you guys keep on questioning, uh, where do I get these banners, stuff like that. You could easily search it up on YouTube. Everything could be searched up on YouTube. You could type in Twitch intermission template, and then they got free intermission graphics, free download, all those types of things. You pick the ones that you think is uh, good for your Twitch channel. People pick the ones that are good for Destiny, Battlefield, certain types of games like that. And I will leave links down in the description of certain uh, YouTubers that I think are really good in graphic designing and uh, give away a lot of free stuff for Twitch for um, streaming, which is really nice. So I'll leave links down in the description below for that. And But you could just pick any one and then you could download it and then use the file GIMP which is a free editing software or you can use Photoshop which is a f uh, not a free editing software but whichever one will most likely work so you can either use GIMP or Photoshop stuff like that so once you have that you just and you finish editing and you put your social media and stuff like that you could just easily add it in now what I did was I wanted to make it a little bit different I didn't want to have like one solid color what I wanted was it to change colors every like minute or so so what I did was I got this image and then I went to Photoshop and I changed all the colors and then I went to um, a software like Adobe Premiere Pro and then I just edited this this is 100% optional but I'm just letting you guys know for good ideas and then I just made it into like a video portion so in order for me to add that instead of going to image I would have to go to media source and I'm not gonna name it very quickly because I might remove it and then I go to wherever I have that and it should be right here and then I put it on a loop I don't restart I don't hide the sources advance everything should be good and I press ok and then you can see that it starts with purple and then every minute it changes from purple to red to yellow to blue to green all those types of colors but I'm actually gonna keep this I'm gonna remove this one and then when you have your banner it looks good already but then you want to entertain people by having good music and i like to show a little bit more professional in my animation by adding an audio spectrum so uh, for getting music i definitely recommend non-copyrighted music for gameplay but it doesn't matter for intermission whether it's not copyrighted or copyrighted music because if you're smart about this and you like to add, upload your twitch stream on youtube then you would edit out the intermission so that uh, none of the uh, copyrighted music will be added in so 
it all depends on you guys what type of music you like or you could just uh, pick whichever non-copyrighted music and not edit it whatsoever if you're too lazy about that but you see right here we go to YouTube you just type in non-copyrighted music you filter it out you put long 20 minutes and then you got this 3 hours and 14 second um, music basically and then you just want to right click copy link address and then you want to go to a site that converts it into a audio file like an mp3 file and then I prefer this one because this one does not limit you like other ones limit you to 90 minutes or stuff like that this one doesn't which is really nice so it'll be down in the description below once again and then you just want to paste it you want to start it and then you can see right here it's already processing it and it takes really it's really short it doesn't even take that long for a three hour uh, audio file basically and then you could just close this and you can see on the bottom left it's already downloading but I'm already I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna cancel it because it's I already have it so when you're done with that now I like to do I like to add an audio spectrum so if you guys want to see how I made an audio spectrum you guys can let me know down in the comments below because I will be happily happy to make one um, to show you guys how I made it you're gonna need After Effects though so if you guys want to see it the, just let me know down in the comments below but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the audio spectrum so how it looks for me so I go to media source when you have all your audio set and I'm just gonna type in audio and it's on caps for some reason I go to browse so I could browse to the audio that I have it and it's in this folder and it's an mp4 unlike the restart loop this and whatever okay and then you can see right here here is the audio spectrum now it's there's a black background of course so what I like to do I like to right click filters effects filters not audio and video filters effects filters and I like to put color key just press ok and then you want to click custom select the color it's a black background it's a full black background and then you can see that there's a little bit of black edges so I like to smooth it out because if you put too much then it removes a bit of the color if you put too little you can see a lot more of the black in the background so I like to put it like around here and then the smoothness all depends on you guys I like to put it like in the middle I like to put this in the middle as well so it's whatever and then you close it and then you could just resize it if you want to I like to put it right above the social medias so you can see right here it's right there and this one is right there and then there you guys have it that is the audio spectrum now once again this is completely optional I just like to do it because it makes my intermission look a lot more professional but if you guys don't have that then you could just simply go to wherever you kept the um, wherever you kept your audio your background music you want to go to it you want to click browse basically and I believe I have mine the one that I downloaded I downloaded it before this right here and then you want to click loop don't restart hide the source advance click OK and you're not gonna see anything of course but you're gonna hear it right here on the bottom and then I like to and it doesn't seem to be that loud usually it goes over the peak but I like to limit it a little bit I like around negative two decibels right there so there you guys have it that is how you add an intermission that's how you add your banner that's that that's how you add your audio your background music or audio spectrum if you're into that or basically changing banner if you like that as well once again if you guys want to see how I did the color changing of the banner in the mission and if you guys want to see how I made my audio spectrum for the music just let me know down in the comments below and if I get a specific amount like if you guys really want to see it then I will definitely make a video on that and once again if you guys haven't seen episode number one through four it'll be down in the description below or you could click on the card or you could click on the screen right here because uh, YouTube decided to add that cool little feature that I was trying to figure it out how to find that but I never got to but they finally added it so thank God for that but there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe follow us on Facebook Twitter YouTube Instagram and Twitch as always it's Techie Chi I'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.